Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about projection matrix in the co context of OLS. First off, let's start off with, with some definitions. Beta hat OLS or the vector of OLS coefficients is equal to x prime x inverse x prime y. And if we have a, uh, if, if we have a y vector, we can calculate the projected values by, um, simply multiplying, um, the x matrix with the vector of OLS co co coefficients and expanding the definition on the left we have this and we can define this um, as P, Px um, and, and then we have that y hat is equal to Px times y so the pro projected va values of 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 y are simply equal to the um, the projection matrix times the or original va value of value of y so p uh, so in other words px is uh, simply short shorthand for the projection matrix let's il illustrate this with a, a simple example um let's uh, let's have a situation where the x matrix is equal to um 0 0 1 1 and in this case um x tells us where uh, a, a person's work status uh whether someone works or not so uh, in in this case we have a data set of four people the first two people don't work because their value is, is 0 and the third and fourth people work and hence their value is is one and you also have data on their wages so so let the y vector be their wages and if if you don't work obviously your your wage is zero and for the people that that work for the sake of, of an example let's just say that their wages are 20 and 30 respectively for the third and fourth person. So so let's cal calculate what the projection matrix will be. In this case, we have 0, 0, 1, 1 and then we need the x prime x inverse which will be equal to this inverse and this is further multiplied by 0, 0, 1, 1, x x prime and if you were to work everything out you will find that this is equal to a 4 times 4 matrix where you have the first two rows are, are full of zeros and the last last two rows have some ones and the whole thing is multiplied by half um, you you can check it um, using an online matrix calculator so no so notice that pxy is equal to half times this entire matrix and then we, we further multiply it by 0, 0, 20, 30. And when you do the matrix multiplication, you find that this is equal to 0, 0, 25, 25. And recall, this 4 times 1 mat matrix uh, with, um, with values of 0 and 25 is your predicted values of of y. In other words, for these two people that don't work, their predicted wage is zero, or their pro projected wage is zero. For those that work, their predict their predicted wage is twenty five. Notice that uh, twenty. 25 is simply 
the average wage of the of the people that work and in this case it makes intuitive sense um, since the average wage is is 25. in other words if you have no no information about someone except for for the fact that he or she works then you'll be able to predict that the wage is 20, 25 but you can't do any better than that notice that the uh, no, notice that the y hat matrix is sim is simply a linear function of the x matrix so uh, if um, so if you prefer um, looking at di di diagrams there's one very uh, there's one very nice way to uh, to to illustrate it um, even though um, you can't illustrate it perfectly because you uh, uh, because you're talking about um, the uh, a four dimensional subspace um, you can uh, uh, you can still do it at, at a very basic le level okay no, no notice that your x matrix is 0011 let's say that we can just project it like this and you have a um, you have a y y matrix let's say you can um, project it like this I'll draw the line to make it a bit straighter what happens is what happens is that the projected value of y is simply going to be this spot this spot over here it's something like um, It's something like the, the sun shining down and um, sh shining right down and then casting uh, and then casting a, sh a sh 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 shadow on the um, on the subspace um, uh, on 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 the subspace spanned by X and then what happens is that this wiggly red line over here is equal to X times beta uh, uh, beta hat so um, you so you can see it's intuitive that y hat is um, y hat is some linear comp uh, is, some, is some linear multiple of x in this case thank you